So today we're going to try an experiment. Well, it's been a few days. These holes take forever to dig. Uh, here in central part of Vancouver Island, British Columbia, super rocky. Anyway, uh, so I've dug three holes here and I've connected them with root channels. You can kind of see root channels going off the, uh, off the main holes as well. That's just to give the uh, lateral roots a little opportunity to move through some easier stuff. But uh, what I've done here is I've kind of created, I hope, I, I really, this is really an experiment. We'll see how it works. Uh, I hope a, a situation where the pawpaws can kind of grow in a, a little thicket of sorts. I think that's kind of how they do it natively. And uh, understanding that plants often communicate via their roots, I've connected the main planting holes with these channels to give, it, give them an easier time to do that. Uh, I have planted my pawpaws in a spot that uh, I have uh, decided is not ideal for them. So I'm going to move them. And I've heard that uh, pawpaws aren't necessarily the easiest thing to move, so we will find out how that goes. But uh, I will show you, uh, show you what they look like after five years, which isn't much. So I have heavily amended this soil. Um, this area, I believe they dumped a lot of fill here from when they dug out the, the house foundation. But I don't know if you can tell, but it's all very gray, very clay, like gray clay. There is a layer down a few feet in this area that uh, has this stuff, so I think that's where this came from. And my understanding is that pawpaws like more hummusy rich type forest soil, at least on the surface anyway. Um, so I've actually amended this, these holes and these channels pretty well. I have mixed feelings about that. It's not always a good idea to do that, but uh, again, this is a bit of an experiment. So we will see how the pawpaws like it. They may not like it, they may, but we'll find out. So here's one of the pawpaws I just pulled out. I tried to keep the root ball fairly big, but it's probably bigger than I can manage. Um, so I'll probably have to cut a bit of it off. You can see the pawpaws have been there for about five years. Uh, they've grown maybe six inches, something like that, not much. Uh, so I don't think that's the best spot for them. Uh, to be fair, it's in a spot that is kind of out of sight, out of mind, so I haven't watered them as much as I probably should have, but um, I also didn't really amend the soil much as I want to do with most trees that I plant, which seem to do fine. So anyway, again, gonna move them, and yeah. So here's the other two. This is one of them. You can kind of see it there. It's uh, still very small. Uh, this area here was an area that uh, had a fairly good tree canopy over it. My intention was to keep them shaded for the first few years and then uh, and then top the trees, which I had intended to do anyway. Um, so we did that about two years ago and really that didn't do much except for cause the leaves to uh, suffer. So they still needed coverage. And again, because this was an area that's a little out of the way for me, I, I was less than diligent with uh, keeping them well watered. So anyway, this is the hole that I just dug the other one out of. You can kind of see there how big the root ball is, if you can get a perspective on it or not. So again, maybe too big for me to manage, but we'll see. So this is just a quick example of how far out I'm digging the, uh, the root ball. The other one was okay. I could get it out of the wheelbarrow and into the hole pretty well. So I'm going to cut this one a little bit smaller. Uh, I've read that the general rule is 8 to 12 inches per uh, of radius per inch of uh, trunk width uh, diameter, but uh, I'm going a little bit more than this. Obviously, this trunk is not even half an inch, probably. It's, uh, it's close, but definitely I think it's smaller than that. So I'm still giving some extra room based on those numbers, but uh, a little bit less than the previous one. So we'll see. All right, so... <clears throat> I've got all three trees in the ground now. This one here, I planted a little shallower than I kind of intended, uh, which may have been a mistake, but I guess it'll give a good comparison. These guys are elevated just a little bit. Uh, they will probably sink somewhat, uh, including the one that's too shallow. So hopefully they won't sink too much. But uh, anyway, we'll see. I intend to amend and mulch everything now, I should say. Uh, and I won't be putting any nitrogen in there yet. Uh, it's the middle of February. I guess I should mention that. So it's still too soon for, 
for much in the way of nitrogen. That'll come later in the spring, but I will put uh, a few other things, including lots of horse manure and some compost, lots of wood mulch, that kind of thing to cover everything up. Um, and at some point, this will be probably for the fall, I will do, and maybe this spring, I'll do some companion planting, but I'm not really sure. I haven't seen much information on whether or not there's uh, any uh, any good evidence for good companion plants with pawpaws. I guess I might have to look at their native environment to take a clue, but anyway, um, that's where it is now. All right, so now the horse manure is on. As a top dressing, I did decide to put a little bit of uh, cottonseed meal on the soil below the horse manure, along with some rock phosphate and wood ash and some kelp meal. I decided that the cottonseed meal, you know, it's fairly slow to uh, le give its effects to the soil, so I figured it would take some time and be okay by the time the uh, things start leafing out. But uh, at this point, I'm gonna throw some paper in the form of old feed bags over the, um, sorry, the horse manure, just because I think it's probably pretty seedy and I imagine there's gonna be a number of uh, things that sprout in it that I don't necessarily want and then I'll throw bark chips over that. So I'll show you that to you, show that to you when it's all done. Okay, so I've done as much as I possibly can, as much as I know how to do. Uh, very heavily mulched, papered, amended, and now it's, we'll just wait and see. Hopefully uh, things go well and I will post an update uh, in a few months. Thanks for checking it out.